we wanted to do with the pilot was grab people from the first second. And we do that with that incredible scene where Ronan Meech was stepping out of the chopper in Cairo. Actually, Michael Bay had said to us, I've got this amazing footage of the pyramids. But we had originally uh, written it to be uh, in a different location, so we changed it to Egypt, and it just is an incredible sequence. And then we go right to the ship, and we bring you into this uh, world of the ship and the Navy, and Eric Dane is the captain. And we have to really create a whole new universe. The pilot is always a challenge. You have to create a new world, introduce people to new characters. And uh, so our goal was to create the circumstances of the pandemic, create the idea of, of this Dr. Scott as being the key to the salvation, and then create this uh, captain and his crew of uh, brave sailors uh, who's on whose shoulders the whole fate of the world rests, and then create the ship as a character, Nathan James, as the vessel that's going to take them and us on this journey. When I walked onto the pier in San Diego for the first time and saw this massive ship and thought, this is our set for the next two weeks, what we managed to accomplish in making really feature film level or, or greater visual effects and also keep it grounded in something that people can relate to, I'm, I'm just very proud of the final product. Charles Parnell came in as a, a pretty good part, pretty nice part, but the more we spend time with him, the more we said, we have to give him that scene too, and we have to give him that scene. And so we were blessed with all the actors we got. That's the fun of writing for television, is you it becomes an organic thing with the actors where you cast someone that you like, you learn more and more about them, and you start writing to their strengths, you start learning things from them, and the actor and the character sort, sort of start to morph, and you start to figure out the best ways to, to use them and discover, discover new things about them. The actors bring something special, you know, to the set every day, and it really becomes, you know, like a family. Adam Baldwin, for example, brought a lot of humor to it, that once we got to know how he speaks and how he thinks, we were, we were able to write to those strengths as well. When the rules change, when the everything that you knew is gone, um, people become much more complex, and what's good and what's bad, the lines blur. And Quincy's an example of that. He may have some good intentions, we'll find out. He may have some bad intentions, but he's not just your mustache twirling villain. And we can promise there will be a lot of twists and turns in terms of, in terms of who he is, what he's trying to do, what he's trying to accomplish, and, and what happens if and when Chandler and the team find out about it. We kind of felt like it was important to take the possible and make it the inevitable on this show. So it's possible the virus could come out of the Arctic and spread, so we make it happen. It's possible that when that happens, our old enemies will become our new enemies, so we made that happen as well. And I think that's what keeps the show grounded and relevant while still being able to be a you know, fantasy and adventure and science fiction. At the end of the pilot, Chandler says we're headed to Guantanamo Bay because geographically that's the place that makes sense. It's the nearest to the, co to the eastern coast. And we thought, oh, you know, it's such a notable location and lots of exciting things could potentially be found there.